Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, has it ever bothered you or you ever wondered why some people just don't get it? And by get it, I mean, you know, the gospel, the word of God, it just doesn't make sense to them. Uh, and they, you, you can share and they just kind of shake their heads like, ah, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I can't believe that. Um, I know it's frustrated me. I have a brother who uh, he and I did ministry together. Uh, we went to seminary together. He has advanced degrees in theology, and yet he walked away from his faith in God. He walked away from the authority of God's word in his life, and it grieves me. And, uh, and so I oftentimes go, God, what's it going to take to get his attention? Well, Jesus addressed this in Matthew 13, verses 10 through 17. Here's, here's what he said. The disciples came to Jesus and said to him, Why do you speak in parables? And Jesus answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, you will indeed hear but never understand, you will indeed see but never perceive, for this people's heart has grown dull and their ears can barely hear and their eyes have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and turn and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, for truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see and did not see it and long to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Um, some people are going to get it. They're going to hear the word of God and respond with joy and other people are not. And, and we don't have any control over who gets it or who doesn't. So if you hear the word of God and it makes sense to you and you see the things of God and you recognize his his hand in it, rejoice because God is revealing his truth to you. So lean in and learn and, and obey what he's teaching you because we are privileged to be the servants of God. The Holy Spirit of God is in us and he's the one who's teaching us and convicting us and leading us into truth and opening our eyes. And so heaven is our destiny and it's our guaranteed home. So we have the word of God in our hands, which, by the way, is why we encourage you to read and apply God's word, because if you read it and apply it, God will change your life. Now, that's the encouragement. There's some unanswered questions in the text that I don't have time for this morning. But if you're listening and you're learning, rejoice and follow Jesus, because that will lead you to blessings. I hope that helps. You have a great day.